Happy birthday, cell phones. Hard to believe it's been a full four decades since mobile phones first jumped on the scene. I bet at least some of you assumed the first models were in the 1980s, you know, when the show Saved by the Bell was first on the air. And the first race is at one? Okay, thanks. The many enormous phones of lead character Zach Morris are so well known that there are entire websites dedicated to them. But in fact, it was on April 3rd, 1973 when the first cell phone call was placed in New York City. Martin Cooper, a senior engineer at Motorola, called his rival at Bell Labs to inform him of his success. The phone that he was using in 1973 weighed in at a whopping 2.5 pounds and had a battery life of 20 minutes. There have been so many advancements over the past 40 years in mobile phone tech, it can be hard to keep track. Let's look at how far we've come. Over the past four decades, cell phones have come a very long way. They're now more powerful and affordable than ever, but we have seen a strange fluctuation in size over the years. From huge handsets, to the extremely tiny, to present day phablets like the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Remember the monstrous brick phones we started seeing in the 80s in movies like Wall Street and of course, Saved by the Bell. By 1994, we finally got our first mobile game, Tetris. The Vibrate feature first appeared in 1996 on the Motorola StarTac that was also the original clamshell handset inspired by the original Star Trek series. Remember T9 predictive text and how useless it was? The first cell phone to have it was the Nokia 3210 back in 2000. In 2001, we finally said goodbye to colorless displays. Also that year, cell phone cameras became a thing, starting in Japan on the Sharp JSH04. As the new millennium began, smaller and smaller phones became in vogue. A great parody of this can be seen in the 2001 movie Zoolander on Derek Zoolander's ridiculously micro-sized cell phone. Hello. In 2004, we got the first Wi-Fi enabled cell phones and a year after that, our mobile security was threatened. Who could forget the tragic hacking of Paris Hilton's sidekick? By 2007, the game-changing Apple iPhone arrived and became an instant hit. Hundreds of people camped outside the New York Apple Store over 100 hours before its release. And that brings us to today. Buttonless smartphones rule the market. And I wonder what Zach Morris would say if handed a modern-day smartphone. Would he even know where to start? So what does the future hold? It certainly seems like phablets are getting bigger and bigger, which makes me think that pockets are either going to have to get bigger or men are going to have to start carrying purses. At CES, we saw that bendable cell phones could be on the way. And if you believe Iron Man 2, maybe we'll get see-through glass plate phones in the near future too. According to Cisco, by 2017, there will be more than 10 billion mobile devices across the globe. What do you think the next generation of phones will look like? Let us know in the comments. I'm crossing my fingers for that phone from Zoolander. For TFN, this is Annie.